Hi there. A while back I did a video about the double herringbone wrap. Lots of people loved it, but many also got confused. So today I'm going to try again, and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve to help explain it. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now let's get wrapping. So for the herringbone wrap, you need the bead that you want to wrap, and I'd recommend anything from five to eight millimeters diameter. The base wire can be anything from 0.8 to about 1.25 millimeters diameter, which is 16 to 18 gauge. I'd pick the largest that fits through the bead. And then the wrapping wire, which I'd recommend as 0.4 to 0.6 millimeters diameter, or 22 to 26 gauge. Now for this video, I'm using one millimeter diameter copper wire, which is 18 gauge for the base wire, a six millimeter bead, and then for the weaving wire, I'm using 0.4 millimeter or 26 gauge wire. But to help show you where each of the wires go, I'm going to use one pink wire and one silver wire. If this is the first time you've come across the herringbone wrap, it's worth getting familiar with the single wrap before attempting the double. I'll link the video on the single herringbone wrap in the card above, and it'll also be in the playlist that I'll show at the end and in the description below. Now, where the single herringbone has a hollow at the back, for the double we're basically weaving another herringbone to cover that. I know in my first video on this, people were getting confused as to where each of the wires go, and when to switch. So it might be useful to see here that each wire is filling in one side, and if you look carefully, the wires alternate at the ends. And I'm going to go through this full wrap with you today in this video. Now another area of confusion seemed to be that I wrap left-handed. It doesn't matter which way you wrap the bead, as long as you're consistent, but in case it helps, I'll flip the weaving for this video. If you want to see the left-hand version, check out my previous video. It'll be in the playlist with all of the herringbone wrap videos that I'll link in the card above and at the end of the video. We want to start by attaching the weaving wires, and we want the wire ends to be smoothly tucked in so they don't interfere with the wrapping. So we want to wrap the weaving wires tightly around the base wire once, then trim off the end to create a full loop where the end of the weaving wire meets the rest of the wire. And then we'll repeat that process for the other wire. Then we can thread these loops onto the base wire, either side of the bead, so that the ends of the wire are coming over the bead in the same direction. And then we can rotate one of these wires 180 degrees. So as we look at it now, the pink wire is going to be wrapping the front herringbone and the silver wire is going to be wrapping the back herringbone. So let's start with the top as that's the wire coming over the base wire. And we'll take that pink wire around the side of the bead as close as possible to the bead and then over the base wire on the other side and around it once. And this is our first rule. Each wrap goes over the base wire and around it once. It's early in the wrap, but we now have two weaving wires at one end. So that brings me to my second rule. When two wires are at the same end, use the one closest to the bead. So we need to swap to the silver wire which will be working the back of the pendant, so we can also turn it over. And I'll turn it around just to make it easier to work. Now we're going to take that wire around the side of the bead as we did before. And then following the first rule, 
we'll take that wire over the base wire and around it once. Now we've only got one wire this side of the bead, so we can continue using that wire and we'll take it around the other side of the bead over that base wire and around it once. Now we have two wires at that end again, so we're going to swap back to the one closest to the bead, which is pink, and because that's wrapping the front, we'll turn it over again. And then take that around the side of the bead, over the base wire and right the way around it. Now we have four wraps around the bead, two at the front and two at the back, as you can see from the end. At this point we can adjust how much of the bead is showing by opening up or closing the same colour wire. And it's best to keep this fairly even on the front and the back. So I'll just open those pink wires out a little bit. Then we can get back to wrapping. We were using the pink wire and there's only that one wire at this end so we can continue with it. We're going around the side of the bead again but there's already one pink wire there. So rule three is that each wire around the bead is placed behind the last one there. So we'll take our wire behind that pink wire that's there, then over the base wire and around it once. Now we're back to rule two. We have two wires, so we'll switch to the silver one closest to the bead. And this is working the back herringbone so we can turn the piece over. We'll take the wire behind the one already there then over and around the base wire. And then we can continue with this wire around the other side over the base wire and around it once. Now we need to switch back to the pink wire, turn the piece over and continue the weave. And we just need to continue weaving in this way until those sides are filled up and the front and the back herringbone weave are touching at the sides. Now I'm going to continue wrapping this all the way through. It'll only take a couple of minutes. So you can speed it up or slow it down if you want or skip forward two minutes to see me finishing this off.
Now I've wrapped five times on each side, both front and back. This is the last wrap I need to make. It's quite tight just getting it in there. Then I'll take that weaving wire over the base wire and around it once. I always like to wrap each side the same number of times so that the finished piece looks fairly even. Now just to finish off, I'm going to wrap another couple of times on each end. So we've got a full three wraps of that weaving wire. And then we can trim off the excess. And as you can see, we've got full herringbone wraps with the silver on the back and the pink on the front. Well, I hope that helps. And if you want to see more videos on the herringbone wrap, check out this playlist or head to this video that YouTube thinks you might like to see next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.